what is up guys it is week 35 and i am coming to you from georgia for the first time in a while anyways i've uh, spent a couple of days nursing this sunburn that i got from arizona uh, i was reunited with my razor so i don't look like a bearded hobo anymore and uh, i'm headed out today because it actually rained it's a little bit cloudy a little bit overcast and we got a nice drizzle this afternoon so i'm gonna flip and see if i can find any snakes here at the house and tonight I'm gonna meet up with Greg and we're gonna see if we can find some turtles. Anyways, I flipped here the other day, right after I got back a couple of things, but it was so dry that I didn't really uh, put that much effort into it because I knew I was kind of wasting my time. So I'm gonna try again today. I'm gonna hit some of the better cover and I will keep you guys updated on how this goes. Look at that steam, looks beautiful. All right. Nobody under there. So aside from the weather not being the best in fall, there's a couple other reasons I don't like herping in the fall in Georgia. One of them, actually, they're all related because they're all caused by insects. We have terrible ticks here in the fall, and you guys I'm sure will get to see some of those uh, eventually. And we also have a lot of flying stinging insects in the fall that make flipping pretty unpleasant. Anyways, I'm sure you guys will get to see some of both of those. Uh, throughout the fall season. I'm hoping not, but I'm I'm very realistic, so more likely than not, I'm gonna get attacked by some flying stinging insects and attacked by, or latched onto by ticks. Anyways, uh, I went through this pile of boards right here last time I flipped, and there was actually something pretty cool in it, so I'm hoping it'll still be there. was down at the very bottom. This is actually a pile of boards that I put here uh, just because I didn't, this is stuff that I was gonna eventually put out somewhere more productive. But uh, then I left for Texas, so it sat here for a while and it weathered and it actually started looking pretty good. It does not look like he's here anymore. Oh, there he is. I'm blind. That right there is a metamorph spotted salamander. I'm gonna get him out and give you guys a better look at him real quick. All right guys, so this is not something I was expecting to see. Uh, today it's a little bit wet, so it's not as much of a surprise that he's still there, but the other day when I flipped this guy for the first time, it was like 93 degrees and bone dry. Anyways, I'm just gonna put this guy back under his pile of boards now that you guys have gotten a decent look at him and keep flipping. Boop. All right. Let's see what about these big ones. This one had a nice looking king snake under it this time last year. As expected, not today. So of course the piece that I couldn't get up without cutting the film has a big rat snake under it. So this is what I meant by random large culprits using this tin this time of year. I don't really know why I get so many snakes under here, like big rat snakes and occasionally king snakes, lots of racers um, in this late summer season, but I do. So I'm gonna get this guy out so you guys can get a better look at him real quick. There we go. That's a nice size rat snake. He's hiding his head and being defensive, but it's better than biting, I suppose. Pretty good sized rat snake, though. Kind of wish I'd started marking these guys so I can tell which ones I've seen before. This guy looks familiar, but I'd have to go back and compare some pictures. But these guys change so much. Oh, these guys change so much with age that uh, if if I had caught this snake a couple years ago, I'd I wouldn't be able to tell because he's darkened up so much that so you can hardly see the same pattern that you could when he was a younger snake. Anyways, good looking adult rat snake. He seems to have a decent temperament. He pooped on me, but hasn't tried to bite me yet, which is rare for these guys. So anyways, I'm just going to put this guy back under his piece of tin and see if I can find any more snakes. All right, buddy. There you go. Doesn't seem to be terribly rushed to get back under his piece of tin. <laughs> go on. Go on. There you go. There he goes. All right, let's keep flipping. So it's 
the third week of August now, and you can see how like it it could pass for mid to late September here. The leaves are starting to turn so fast. And I think that's largely just because of how dry it's been. But I'm assuming it's not going to be a good thing for snakes. There we go. Seed ticks. One of the many reasons I don't like leaving the house this time of year. Alright, well, that wasn't terrible. We found a nice looking rat snake. It's always nice to see a big healthy rat snake here on the property. And uh, it's also always nice to see spotted salamanders outside of the winter. Because they're pretty exclusively a winter, early spring thing here. So, anyways, I will see you guys at the creek tonight. Alright guys, I am waiting for Greg. He's on his way. We're going to get together and we're going to head out and walk some creeks. As you guys know, that tends to turn up a lot of cool stuff, including some really cool turtles and some pretty cool snakes too. So I will check in with you guys when we hit the water. Yeah, this water level is nice. Nice and clear. Yep. Dang, we must have walked past that thing. Yeah, it probably just looked like one of these clams. Right, first turtle of the night. Little red eared slider. Greg spotted. And there's so many bugs, it's gonna look like. <laughs> you can't even see the turtle. There you go. That's better. It's like, what are you doing? Good looking little turtle. Puffy eyes. It sure does. Nice. Oh, he's a little yellow belly. That's what he is. He's not red. He's real light colored for a yeah, yellow that's belly. Very light for a yellow belly. I mean, very. It's a young. He must lemon. be injured or something. Yeah, he's got a. Looks like a scratch right there. Anyways, this is a bowfin. Look at those eyes. Here's our first snake of the night. It is repeatedly trying to escape. Anyways, nice like a Midland water snake. We found this guy swimming in the deeper main channel and pulled him over here for photos, but first snake we've actually gotten our hands on tonight. We saw one of these earlier, but it got away. But we're gonna get some quick photos of this guy and let him go. So here's this water snake. And then right there, is a three-line salamander just hanging out on this rock. Anyways, I'm gonna let <laughs> guy doesn't like great. Look at that belly. That's nice. Pretty cool double double species find. Greg's got a turtle. Nice. Common musk turtle, aka stink pot. First one of these we've seen tonight. He's not very happy about being captured, so we're just gonna let him go and keep. Oh, <laughs> we're, we're gonna see many more. So the river cooter. I'm gonna grab. So right after that last video ended, Greg spotted another cooter, and then I got this big girl right past that one too. So we've got three right here. Look at those eyeballs. So one of these cooters has a massive chunk taken out of his shell right there. And Greg says is very possibly from an alligator snapping turtle. That is crazy. I mean, that's like, that's a whole mouthful for sure. It's crazy that whatever did that didn't get any of his foot either. Okay. Let's see what we get. There's one right there. Number one. Yep. Loggerhead. Nice. Um, and there's another. Yep. There's, there's, there's one, one right there. there. Yeah. Three. Another stink <laughs> pot. 
Up to three total? Yep. There you go. Right there. Another, another one. <laughs> He's booking it. Oh no! I lost it. <laughs> okay. there, there you go. That's a big longer head. Yeah. <laughs> How many can I hold? <laughs> there we go. Stink pot. Stink pot. Just hold your flashlight in your arm and I'll light you. <laughs> yeah, boy. We've exhausted our resources. Maybe up here? Yeah, let's go over this way. See me in there. It feels so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be one right here. Look there. Yep. Another loggerhead. Yep. <laughs> How many is that? Six? Six. Nice. Six must turtles. We're gonna have a race. There we go. Sink pot. I'm trying to grab it. <laughs> Seven turtles. <laughs> oh no, that's a white spot. Over right there. No. All right. All right, here's Turtle Man Greg with his prized seven must turtles that we just got in about like two minutes. But we're gonna let these guys go and keep herping. <laughs> Pretty good little run there. All right guys, we're lining these turtles up on the edge of their big oh, pond. Shit. Oh, we had an escape. Oh, they're going. <laughs> there you go, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. All right, let's get an alligator snapper. Big bullfrog. River cooter hanging out. It's a brown water snake. Hey there, beautiful. Doesn't seem terribly concerned with the fact that I picked her up. Got a bad eye. A good size one. Anyways, this is one of probably three species of water snake that you'd be able to find in this creek. The Midland, brown, and then the uh, red-bellied water snake. Uh, I'll let this girl go. And keep looking for turtles. Right past the uh, brown water snake, Greg spotted this nice loggerhead musk turtle. There were a lot of these guys back when we had that crazy two minutes of just turtles everywhere, but it's the first one we've seen in this creek, so we're going to let him go and keep herping. Yo, what is this guy doing? Who does he think he is? That's the most coordinated armadillo of all time. Just walking right across this log over the creek. Anyways. There was a fork in the creek and Greg and I each went opposite directions. So, uh, hopefully there will be some turtles to be found on both sides, but I'll check in when we see something. That's a cool looking fish. Well, it's two in the morning. I'm walking through the swamp and uh, I can't find Greg. We've been separated. This is like what it feels like to be in a horror movie with a lot of turtles in it. All right, guys, it's getting late. We have failed to find any snapping turtles of the common or alligator variety, but here is a leopard frog to end the night on. Plenty of these guys tonight as always, but it was a pretty solid night all around. We got to see a lot of turtles. You know, could have been worse for the first night back in Georgia, so. 
I'm probably going to end the video here, and I will see you guys this weekend. I am planning on looking for timber rattlesnakes, so that should be fun, and that video will be up at the end of the week, so thanks for watching. All right, guys, well, right after I cut my video of the leopard frog, I saw this guy swimming through the water. This is a little bitty queen snake with a nice, interesting black stripe down his back. Anyways, last minute find. I was not expecting to see this guy. I'm going to get a couple quick photos of this guy, and then we're going to head back to the car. These guys are one of our pretty much exclusive crayfish eating snakes, so always nice to see these guys. You don't see a lot of them this time of year when it's really hot. They're mostly a, a springtime thing. You see them basking a lot, but actually seeing one out foraging in the creek. I'm not sure I've ever actually seen one doing that before. A lot of times I find them sleeping in the trees overhead, so... Pretty cool way to end the night. We're gonna let this guy go and head out. And there goes the queen snake.